My friends, I hope you all are doing well. Today for this episode, we're discussing two One Tigress products. One Tigress has been busy. They've been bringing out some new products to the market, including a cut, which we will also take a look at in the future. And they also have a new chair. This is the old chair. This is the new one. In this episode, we will be comparing both models. So the new chair features a higher back. That is the biggest difference between the two. But of course, we will go over every single difference and we'll compare the old chair to the new one. That's what this episode is all about, everyone, and we might as well get to it. But before we do, make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. You can also support on Patreon or here on YouTube. You can join the Wolf Pack. Thanks, everybody. Let's start off by comparing the storage size between the two chairs. With the high back version, you're looking at 19.3 inches long and it is 4.3 inches wide. With the regular version, it is 15.7 inches long and 3.9 inches wide. And as you can see here, the storage bags feature the exact same layout. You have PALS webbing on one side, each side has grab handles, and you have one zip. Now everyone, let's do a component breakdown. As you can see here, you have the exact same components. The only thing that's different are the dimensions. You have the aluminum frames, the seats, and the storage bags. You can see here that these chairs share in the same frame design, but there are some differences, not only with just the size alone, this is the high back version, this is the regular, but the tubes are definitely different. The high back version has much larger tubes than the regular, even though they offer the same weight limit capacity. Setting up the chairs is the exact same process for both models. When setting up the two chairs, the regular version takes quite a bit more strength to put together than the high back version. Now with the two versions here, you can see the differences between the two. You can see here that the cut of these chairs is different. And before we go over the measurements, let's focus on the back here. The high back version has this, what feels to be an aluminum rod on the inside for support. The regular version does not have that feature. The cut of the high back is almost like a teardrop, whereas the regular is squared. The high back version is 29 and a half inches tall, whereas the regular version is 25.6 inches tall. Both chairs have a seating position that is 14.2 inches high. The high back version is 23 inches wide and the regular version is 21 inches wide. The regular version sits 11 inches deep, whereas the high back version sits 12 inches deep. With the regular size, you're looking at 50 bucks. There is an exception, the multicam camo is $10 extra. With the high back version, the price of this is 60 bucks. The high back version is available in black and coyote brown, whereas the regular is multicam black and coyote brown. Both of these chairs feature the same materials, a 600 denier polyester and 7075 aluminum frames. There is an exception, the regular size multicam features a 500 denier Kadura. The high back version weighs 3.1 pounds, whereas the regular, that weighs 2.5 pounds. And finally, both of these chairs feature the same weight limit of 330 pounds. One more feature to talk about here are these pockets, these side pockets. There's one on each side. They have carried over to the high back version and they're just as worthless. All right, everyone, now that we have the boring stuff out of the way, let's talk about these chairs and how they are different when it comes from like a sitting perspective. So, with the regular version, I'm able to kick back here and lounge fairly easily. I mean, this is very, very comfortable. Hmm. Okay. With the high back version, the cut is definitely different. Whereas the sides kind of wrap around you with the regular version, That's not the case with the high back. And I have to say that I think I like that more. The sides here are just a little bit more aggressive and you do notice them. Whereas the high back version, they're a little bit lower and they're a little bit more out of the way. So as far as comfort goes, don't get me wrong. Both are very comfortable. This one is just slightly more so. The high back doesn't do a whole lot to be honest. It doesn't do a whole lot as far as like seating position goes. I would say that this is just a little bit more comfortable. Here with the back, you can kind of feel like the edges pushing into your back, right into the back of your arms. Whereas the high back version, you don't have that. And that's because of that teardrop shape. So after switching back and forth, I would say the high back version is more comfortable. I mean, it's not by much, but it is. If comfort was your priority, the high back version is more comfortable. But if you're going out on a backpacking trip where ounces count, the regular version would be my choice. Again, 
Both of these chairs are very good in my opinion, but I happen to like the high back more so. The teardrop shape is definitely more comfortable than the square shape. Honestly, I didn't expect there to be that much of a difference, but there is. The more time that I spend in both of these chairs, there's definitely a difference thanks to the cut of this chair. It is more comfortable, there's no doubt about it. Does the high back feature really mean that much? No, not really. Very rarely are you leaning back so far where that really comes into play. The company could just stop right here, get rid of this, save some weight, and the teardrop design is still more comfortable. Yeah, without a doubt, you can get rid of the high back part because you're not laying back that far. And if you are, that bar is going right into your neck and it's not really that comfortable. As far as the review goes for these chairs, my pros and cons are virtually the same for both. Do keep in mind the factors that I pointed out concerning weight and comfort. If comfort is more important, the high back version is for you. If weight's more important, the regular version is for you. The quality of these chairs are excellent. Very good materials. Very easy to set up, easy to break down. Both are comfortable with the high back taking the lead. You have good color options, black, coyote, and with the regular version, multi-cam. The prices are good for these chairs. Both feature excellent weight limits. Neither is overly heavy. Both chairs offer good dimensions for most people as far as height and also like the sitting area. The storage bags are plenty big to store the chairs and you won't have that much of a struggle fitting them back into those bags. Those are the pros. When it comes to the cons, both chairs feature those ridiculous pockets that are practically worthless. The company needs to get rid of those and save some weight. They're simply too tight to be useful. And that right there is pretty much the only con that I have for these chairs. You really can't complain about much. The price is good, the weight's good, the comfort is good. All in all, I can easily recommend both of these chairs. The question that I have for you is this, which one is right for you? Are you going for comfort or weight? What's right for you? Comment down below. Make sure to share your thoughts, everyone. What do you all think about these chairs? Was there a need for a high back version? The taller you are, the more important that will be. I think for the majority of individuals like myself, it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's not going to be game changing, but if you're very, very tall, then that back will give you some support. But you do have that bar at the top, which can be a little bit uncomfortable. It really depends on how far you're leaning back. I appreciate you all tuning in for this episode. There's a lot of content out on YouTube and I appreciate every single one of you. This has been an agenda free review of both chairs. So again, make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.